All right, everyone. I said once I got this sensor off of me, I would try and take it apart. And uh, I did pull one off of me because they're kind of expensive. Uh, I know this is a little close up, but let's talk about this a little bit. So this is what's called a CGM, a continuous glucose monitoring system. And I'll try to demonstrate kind of how this works. So here's the actual meter that goes with it. it pretty much just get this close mm -hmm. to it. Obviously, it's not too happy about that since that sensor uh, can't be used anymore. But, um, you actually can use it on a sensor that actually works. It's actually on you. And it does properly measure blood glucose. So, that's all fine and good. So, how does it do it? Well, that's a good question. Let's get it back in the center of the frame. See if we can see what's in here and then we'll take it apart. So, you can see the part in the middle here is actually the part that does the sensing. We can also see looks like there's a battery in there, but besides that we can't really see. I don't know if I can get any closer to show this. Probably not. It's probably not going to focus any closer than that. No, it's not. So this is about uh, the absolute closest that we're going to get and it's going to focus. Or, well now we're not going to focus at all, are we? So hold that thought. Let's go ahead and Lock the focus and go from there. One sec, auto focus off. Alright, that's about as good as we're going to get. So, let's see if we can't get this little guy apart and see what makes it tick. Ooh, that is. Probably, because this thing is waterproof, it's probably going to be very, very stubborn about coming apart. So I will do my best not to make this horribly nauseating, or for that matter, to cut my damn hand open. Or not. Okay, that does not want to open, does it? I don't even think I made a dent in it either. All right, maybe we need to approach this from a different angle. Let's try to get the sensor first. which looks to be this portion right here, which is like a soft area. Let's try to pull that out first. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, hey. All right. So that wasn't too hard. Okay, so that is the actual sensor piece. Got it. So that's what's doing the actual sensing. The rest of this is just the board. Okay, excellent. So... Question being, can we still get at the board itself? I'm not so sure we can. Again, preferably without breaking my finger, popping my finger open. This is going to be a tough cookie, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, we can see how this interfaces. We can see the little pads that it interfaces with, but the actual method, this thing, if it can be opened at all, I mean, I'm sure it can be opened, because it looks like here, here, and here, it's probably plastically welded, but the problem is going to be separating those halves. Hmm. Let's see. Like I said, I'd rather not cut my fingers open in this process. I 
shaken ever so slightly. Feel the blade pushing into that, but it's very, very slight. Okay, made a little headway. So we can we can literally get a wedge in there. Oh, oh, there we go. Maybe. This thing was definitely not meant to be taken apart. Okay, there we go. But it's still pretty well held together. There's definitely no non-destructive way to do this. Okay. But we're getting there. I mean, we're going to destroy the casing. But let's see if we can't. Nope, we took a little chunk out of the board there. That's okay. We're getting somewhere. Definitely getting somewhere. Okay. Ah. Man, I can hear this thing wanting to open, but not very willingly. And the honest answer is, I'm not so sure there's actually much in here we want to get at. Oh, please. Loud noises. More progress than previous. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Including the core too. Oh, okay. That's the last little bit, I think. Hopefully if I can pull this. Oh, hey, there's a chip. Definitely a chip. Okay, we're in. Alright, so what is this thing? Alright, I don't know if we're gonna be able to read the chip, but we'll try. And it's probably completely proprietary. But, so there's a little bit more in here than I thought. So there's definitely some kind of, it's probably not just the RF. Because we can definitely see that right there is probably going to be your RF antenna. Obviously a button cell. Contacts to the sensors. I don't know why these were labeled plus. Um, looks like passives. Oh no, actually that's something else. Because the antenna for this thing is probably all the way around, so... What the hell is this? I don't have a clue what that is. It's some kind of sensor. But, 
with the chip in here, you can definitely tell why it was serialized. Yeah, I can't read the writing at all. Yeah, can't read a damn thing on there, so that's no good, but this thing is tiny. <laughs> Just out of pure curiosity, or battery. I'm going to assume the battery is still perfectly good. Even without, uh, yeah, this one is that it's, uh, Varda. B3.77, but it's probably perfectly fine because it wasn't in there more than a few days. So yeah, standard cell, antenna, contacts for the actual little tiny sensor, and uh, that's about all that's in this thing. So, wow, well, it's probably horribly angry to, well, I've taken it apart, obviously it's going to think it's been disassembled. And actually, you can see plus, minus, plus, hmm, not, not much else on there, though. Hmm. Ooh, let's see if we can pry it out and see if there's anything on the back. It's very, very stuck in here, though. Oh, come on. Ah, damn it. Not a lot on the back. We can get it out of there. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of stuff on the Mac, including a number. 4D3687. Oh, wait, what's that? What's that? I can almost see it. Guess ART revision A, which kind of makes sense. Revision A, because it is a brand new product. Sorry for the shakiness. Yeah, but I think that's about all there is to this thing. And wow, they are sealed really, really well. But that's pretty cool. Huh, huh go figure. Not as much to that as I thought.